Oh my god, guys, take a look at this epic mansion. It's so freaking cool. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Damien, and welcome back to another Minecraft map showcase. Today we're taking a look at an epic traditional mansion. This mansion is absolutely huge. Take a look at this guys. The property itself includes a racetrack, helipad, pool, tennis court, and a ton more. Definitely pretty epic guys. So let's get started with today's map. Alright guys, so here we are at the front of our house. As you can see, even the driveway is gigantic. Oh my gosh. We also have these lovely trees over here on this property, which looks so freaking cool. Now guys, as you can see, the lawn does look very, very nice, and there's a helipad that's located at the front lawn. So say for instance, you just want to come to your house in a much more flashy way, you can use that to do so. As well as guys, we have a racetrack, which is technically a minecart system, but you can use it to go ahead and race against your friends. So guys, let's go ahead and check this out, and enter our cart, and then head off on our race. And oh my gosh, the ghost is beating us. The ghost of my past is beating me in this race. <laughs> Alright guys, so we can use this opportunity to take a look at the map itself. As you can see, um, like I mentioned, the trees are very nice. We have a nice view of like the traditional house as well. And over here, we're actually going to jump over. There we go. That's pretty cool. We have a lake that's also located in the front. And when we turn around here, we have our pool, which is on the side of the house. Definitely pretty awesome, guys. And I do have to say, this house looks very, very nice. And it's actually a little bit better than the modern mansions, I do have to say. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and enter our house through the garage. Now the garage is of course at the end of the driveway, so let's go ahead and just enter it. And as you can see, we have a garage door right over here. Once we enter, we have some nice decorative blocks, as well as a tool kind of working area, and just a ton of awesome cool things, guys. Now I won't be going over every single thing in detail, since this is really a gigantic house. There's really no time to do that, but um, definitely you guys will see every inch of this place. Alright guys, so here we enter a hallway, yet again some lovely decorations, bookcases, and places to kind of put stuff on your shelves. As we walk down here, we can go ahead and explore more of the house. The first door to the right is going to take us to a lovely bathroom, and this bathroom is um, not functional, but it's still pretty cool because it's decorative. We have a shower over here, a bathtub, as well as a mirror to kind of check out your hair and, you know, fix your clothes or whatnot. Alright, so we could go ahead and close that door and walk into another hallway. Straight ahead, we have a place to kind of have an intermission between the hallways, and we can also have a nice view of the backyard. Now over here, we have some more shelf space as well as bookcases and a brewing stand. Now back here on the left side of the hallway, we have a gigantic empty room, which yet again um, kind of overlooks the backyard. You could go ahead and use this and decorate it to however you like. We also have like a tennis court, which is also back here in a view of the pool um, that's on the other side. Alright, so on the other side of this room, we also have another kind of section, and this section is going to lead into a kind of spacious room, or a den area, and then you can walk in here to go into another empty room. So, there's a few empty rooms in this house, but uh, you can go ahead and decorate it and customize it to change it up a bit. Alright, so back here we have our bedroom, and on the other side we have our bathroom. Definitely pretty awesome, guys, and this is a walk-in shower, so it's actually pretty cool. Alright, guys, so instead of going left, this time, let's go to the right and take a look at this house. Yet again, another lovely decorated hallway leading up to a gigantic living space. We have a desk over here where you can do your work, a view of the front yard, as well as we have random bookcases, shelves, and places to just put down items. We have a staircase that's going to take us to the second floor, as well as the front door is located right over here, guys. So basically, I just went around the house and came towards um, the front door. Alright guys, so let's go back into the house and continue continue down to the right side to take a look at the rest of it. Alright guys, so over here we have another kind of intermission of the hallway which is going to split up into three different rooms. To the right we have a office and the office is uh, fairly nice, it's located right at the front of the house which is pretty cool. We have some bookcases and decorations kind of surrounding the map, pretty similar to the rest of it. And on the opposite side we have a bedroom and this bedroom has a decapitated human skull as well as an area for you to kind of um, store your items on these shelves and also a view of the backyard. Alright guys, so the final door is going to take us into a larger living space 
space with a TV and a couch. As well as over here, we have, I believe, another bedroom. And this bedroom is uh, quite large compared to the others. There's some more shelf space as well as um, areas to just have decorations in your room. So pretty basic, guys. The decorations are kind of similar throughout the house. Over here, we have a fish tank. And the fish tank is, of course, empty at the moment. But we'll be adding some fishes later. We have another empty room over here. Which, yet again, you can use to kind of decorate and make your own custom room. And on this side, we have a much larger room that you could use to possibly make a bedroom or something. And on this end, we have a dining room table with our kitchen, as well as some doors that's going to take us to our pool area. And then a ton of freaking bats. Get out of here, bats. And um, yeah, so that's basically like the kitchen area. As you can see, the dining room table is pretty cool. We have a nice view of the backyard, as well as some lighting and some kind of storage areas over here as well. Alright guys, so let's go to the middle of the house and take a look at the second floor. Now, the second floor itself has absolutely nothing, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless to take a look at this. Alright guys, so when you download this map, you're going to have a lot of fun because we have a lot of space here that you can use for decorations. We have basically the entire bottom floor empty on the top. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we could walk throughout the house, go to the right, there's like extensive amount of rooms. Over here to the right, we have another area, and yet again, another room that's kind of kind of endless. Can you see this, guys? We're going like in and out of like multiple rooms just on this one floor. That's definitely pretty awesome. And on the opposite side, we basically have the same kind of configuration. We have multiple rooms located across the map. Alright, now that we've taken a look at the interior of the house, let's go and take a look at the outside. Alright guys, so let's exit through our kitchen and take a look at the pool area. So the pool area, as you can see, it looks really nice. It's a small kind of jacuzzi type pool that kind of floats down into a shallower area, I guess you would say. And I just love the design of it. It's like a small little waterfall. We have a place over here to sunbathe with a diving board as well as like this awesome kind of shaded area with uh, vines kind of surrounding this kind of fenced up area. I'm not really too sure to explain this, guys, but it's a pretty nice, unique type of roof. And on this side, guys, we have our tennis court along with a tree and a million different bats as well as hedges and a fence that surrounds our property. So anyways guys that basically wraps up today's Minecraft map showcase. If you enjoyed the video remember to take one second to drop a like or a comment down below. I definitely appreciate all the support. If you guys want to see more of my videos click on the annotations on your screens or in the playlist link below in the description. Anyways guys this was Twist and I'll see you later.